Happy Terry here with a brand new Box Critters video and the St. Patrick's Day party has just been released in game. Um, yes, so this week is St. Patrick's Day um, which is normally celebrated in Ireland and around the world and as you can see the port has been decorated, there's a lot of clovers going on all around the uh, port right now. I love this mat, I really do. I wish I could have it in my uh, ship when we get them eventually. That'd be quite cool. So we're just going to have a look around the port first and put the decorations. <laughs> I love how the hamster ball has its own leprechaun hat. I like that a lot. I think I'm going to be spending some time in here with my hat. I think that's a good idea. Um, so let's keep having a look. So look at all these leprechaun themed areas. I love that this the violin on a happy St. Patrick's Day sign is here. All these clovers, it really looks good. Really does look good. Um, let's go straight into the tavern from the port. So many clovers, so many clovers, guys. Okay, so now we're in the tavern. Oh, my pot of gold over here leads to the rainbow. Fantastic. I'll be taking this, making sure. Um, spy doesn't take it because I want it. Okay, Spy, understand? I want this gold, please. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so this is the um, this is the uh, tavern. I love the seats. Clovered seats. Look at that. Can I get some of those as well, please? Oh, and this drum kit. Yes, please. Um, and the wheels green, of course. It's gotta be green for the um, for the event. Uh, the cellar isn't decorated in this event, which is absolutely fine. Uh, the tavern is well and truly packed um, with green and clovers everywhere. I love it. The sparkly rainbow here as well, which I know Spy will love too. Okay, let's go back into the port where there's more clovers. I love it. I keep saying it because I do think they've definitely emphasised the Patrick's Day themed uh, day you know so it's great and then let's go straight into the jungle now this is where all the items are this year for the event which is fantastic I love these floating um, floating clovers there may be a part two which may be a, a, a sort of a hunt uh, last year we had um, a hunt where you would hover over the um, clovers and they would turn gold and then it would give you a um, part of the unlocked gate which was in the snow snow forest the forest room that we had for the Christmas event it was in there last year so we may get that as part two so look out for that let's go straight to the cave part uh, there is a couple of items in here, so the first item we've got is the Leprechaun Lady, very nice. Then right next to it we've got the Leprechaun Hat with Hair, nice. Let's see if there's anything in here. So there's no item in here, but something's opening soon. Ooh, do we get this room being released soon? We've seen a lot. A lot of sneak peeks and previews. Now that'd be fantastic. If that's a surprise that they mentioned yesterday, that'll be released. That would be amazing. A brand new room for this event. Let's have it. Let's have it. I'm I'm ready. I am very ready for it. So stay tuned for that because there may be a part two, and there may even be a part three of this event um, with the surprise. If they do release the the hunt of looking for the uh, special clovers. Um, where you, hop, as I say, you hover over them and you sat, stand on them and they turn gold and it unlocks part of the gate to get an item at the end and last year it was a pot of gold so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens again this year to get the pot of gold item uh, which I did enjoy. Okay, let's go over the bridge and there's another item here which is the leprechaun suit nice and then there's a hidden item here. You see this clover looks a little bit different than the others and it looks very special so if we go over to it it's a five leaf clover gold hat. A five leaf clover gold hat. That's insane. 
So make sure you get this one here. It's definitely hidden. It's, and it's triggered with this special clovered five, five leaf clovered, um, which is on the floor there. So make sure you get that next to the observatory. Let's go down the ladder. Uh, we've got two items at the beachy area. We've got the violin. Sorry, not the violin. The fiddle. So make sure you do get the fiddle. And then we go over. Obviously, you've got your marshmallow stick, which you can, which you can still get at any time. And on the right hand side, we've got the leprechaun hat. Which are two love the leprechaun hat. Um, as well, you'll hear, be hearing in the background some fantastic fiddly music from. Chris Hendricks, also known as Screen Hog. He smashed it again. I love it. So cheery. Um, so fantastic work again, Screen Hog. Thank you for doing what you do for the Box Critters community. Um, it truly means a lot to us people, especially who was on Club Penguin, because your music did inspire a lot of kids um, to get into the music industry too. Um, but this event's wonderful. So there's five items, five to six items in the jungle. Um, so make sure you do collect them. As I said, so there's two at the beach. There's a hidden one, and there's one next to the observatory. So that's four. Then there's five, six. So that means there's two in the cave as well. So make sure you do get them. So there's six in total. Um, well folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big, 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 big thumbs up and subscribe. Until, Until next time, stay safe and critter on.